I think the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund was sound public policy. It was the right thing to do. It told the world we take care of our own, we will protect our own as we look for and bring to justice the villains. I think it was the right idea. Don't ever do it again. Within a few weeks after 9-11, I received a telephone call from the Attorney General of the United States, John Ashcroft, inviting me to come to his office to discuss a publicly funded compensation program to compensate innocent victims of the September 11 terrorist attacks. We paid out public money totaling a little over $7 billion to about 52, 5,300 people. Under this law, everybody had to receive a different amount of money. Anybody who voluntarily decided to come into this program had to sign a document. I will not sue the airlines, the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, the manufacturers of the plane. This program was an alternative to litigation. Well, if you're trying to voluntarily attract people out of litigation, you invariably provide different calculations for every individual or family differently situated. What is a life worth? The formula for deciding that is a very cold, analytic, mathematical calculation. What would the, the victim have earned over a work life but for the tragedy? Economic loss. Add to that number non-economic loss, emotional distress. The other problem you confront Bad things happen to good people every day in this country, and you don't have a 9-11 fund. I, I remember the emails I received. Dear Mr. Feinberg, my son died in Oklahoma City. Where's my check? Dear Mr. Feinberg, my daughter died in the basement of the World Trade Center in the original 1993 attacks. Where's my check? Don't ever create a fund with public money just for certain victims, while all other innocent victims are left stranded. <laughs>